Crush! Cloud time. The birds. Flood of frost. I condemn you. Written in the stars. Embrace the ice. Whirling snow. Yo, what's up everybody? My name is Hyder Sam. I make Y4 Meta content and in today's video, we're going to be talking about Mona and Aika and his nice freeze control team together. We're going to be talking about weapons, artifacts, team comp suggestions, whether you're F2P or you're a whale. I'm going to also talk about little combos and rotations, why I think it's a strong team, and my final thoughts on it. Before we get into it, I want to give a special shout out to Inori. Thank you so much for letting me use your account, Inori. Inori has C6 his Ayaka. He also has C3 Mona, and he generously offered his account so I can use it for this video. And once again, thank you, Inori. Appreciate it, man. Also, if you enjoy my content, I would appreciate a like and a subscribe. It really helps out the channel. It's free, and you can always unsubscribe whenever you want. So without further ado, let's get into it. So first of all, I know you're thinking, C6 Ayaka, yo, this is OP. This isn't for me. But I assure you, you don't need C6 to do a bunch of crazy damage. The whole point of this team is you're going to be freezing enemies and getting that damage buff from Mona's burst and grouping them together with an animal support so that way you can cause a bunch of damage with Ayaka's burst and her charge attack. But if you have a good build for Ayaka, you're not going to really need more than Mona and Ayaka's burst because all these characters just die. And like I said, you don't need C6 Ayaka. Lakola has made a video on him showcasing C0 Ayaka with his freeze teams and it works pretty well and you do a lot of damage. So with Ayaka's weapon, we have the Mist Splitter Reforge, which is basically her best in slot weapon. But honestly, if you have any other five star weapons, those are good too. Unless of course you have like the Freedom Sworn Sword or an Aquila Favonia, which don't really benefit Ayaka too much. But the Battle Pass weapon and the Black Cliff Sword are good weapons as well to increase her crit rate or her crit damage. But I would suggest just the Black Cliff Sword in the shop because it's more F2P friendly and you don't really need a bunch of crit rate for Aika if you're running a four piece Blizzard Strayer set. But if you're super F2P, the best weapon is probably the Inazuma Sword that you can craft over there. And the best three star weapon would probably be the Harbinger of Dawn because it gives you crit damage and it also gives you crit rate, which will help you for those people that are still not at the end game level yet and so for the artifacts i suggest a four piece business trader set for ayaka if you look at my ratio it's a 30 to like 283 ratio and you might think that's bad but if you look at the four piece business trader set since we're going to be constantly freezing enemies we're going to get basically 40 percent crit rate from the artifacts and an extra 15 percent if you have a double cryo resonance so essentially that 30 percent turns into an 85 percent crit rate or consistent big damage. Of course, if you don't have a four piece Blizzard Strayer set, since a lot of our damage does come from Aika's Burst, you can go ahead and slap on a two piece Noblesse and a two piece Cryo, or even just an overall two piece Blizzard Strayer set and two piece Gladiator is good just for that extra attack percent. But that's pretty much it for the builds and weapon suggestions for Aika. Now for Mona, we're gonna be focusing on a burst heavy damage support so you can get the, the new Inazuma set. But for Mona, if you already have a two piece Hydro, two piece Noblesse, go ahead and slap that on her. So that way you can get that extra burst damage for her. If you want a more support heavy one, go ahead. You can put on a four piece Noblesse if you want, since you're gonna be spamming that burst. For her attack percent piece, you can go with attack percent or energy recharge, just depending on what you need more. Or you can go for that new Inazuma set, the Severed Fate one, if you have enough resin to grind that out, because it's a nightmare grinding that domain. I've tried getting good artifacts. I haven't gotten the best ones yet, but don't worry, that video is coming of my opinion on that set and damage comparisons. So hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on that video. It's a little side note. And for the weapons, you can go ahead and give Mona the best weapon you have, whether it's a five star or the Witsith, the Solar Pearl, or even the Dota Cotels one. And if you have the Pavonius Codex, that's also a great support weapon for her as well, so that way you can get those extra energy particles for her or for your team. I would suggest running a second Cryo unit. A lot of you free to play players got Diona from that event a while ago, so you should have her. And she's a great battery for any cryo unit. And since Aika has an energy requirement of 80 for her burst, Diana is a great option for that. And if you didn't give Mona the four piece Noblesse, you can give Diana or your other cryo support that four piece Noblesse to increase the damage of your team. And if you don't want to use the Diana, you can also use Rosaria or Changyun because they all have access to the sacrificial and the Favonius weapons. For the fourth character, I would suggest using an animal support, whether it's Venti, Kazua, or even Sucrose. Kazo will probably be the best because he has a mixture of crowd control and he can give extra damage to Ayaka. But Venti is also a great option as well because he has more of a crowd control feature and he can group small enemies together and infuse either a Hydro or a Cryo Swirl, which would give more energy recharge for your Mona or your Ayaka. But the main purpose of the animal support is just to decrease that 
elemental resistance by 40% with the viridescent burner 4 piece set. So even sucrose is fine just to group them up together with her elemental scale or her burst. So a reason why I think this team is really strong is because of how much power you have over the whole battlefield with the character when you're freezing them, you're basically not letting them play or hit you. And with Mona's elemental burst and freeze, you can actually extend Mona's buff so you can get that extra. You can get more than five seconds of that damage boost with Ayaka's burst or any type of damage that you're doing. And if you're using Venti, after you freeze them and do your elemental burst, you can actually you can just do more damage with Ayaka's charge attacks because the enemies, even though they're floating in the air with Venti's burst, Ayaka will still be able to hit them with her charge attack. And I just think that's really strong and OP. And depending on how much luck you have or how much whale power you have, instead of Diona, you can actually put Ganyu or Yula on that slot and support Ayaka even more. With Yula, you can use her elemental skill to, to decrease the crowd resistance of the enemy but if you're doing that, you might as well go with Kazuha instead of Venti. So Kazuha can get more damage bonus boost while Yula will give that debuff as well. And if you use Ganyu, then Ganyu can be good with Venti or whoever, or even a Sucrose because Ganyu would be giving that extra elemental damage bonus with her burst while the animal character will just decrease the power resist. And you're thinking, well, why don't I need a healer? Well, you don't need a healer if everything just dies before they even hit you because you're going to be freezing them and they're not going to have a chance to hit you. Well, I just think it's super fun. And if you have that type of luck or whale power, you use it because I think it's a great team. So my final thoughts on this team is it's really strong. I love it. I think it's better than the Mona and Ganyu combo, if I'm being honest. And mainly because Aika has a faster playstyle and because her burst does more damage than Ganyu's burst. And if you don't have C6 Ganyu, then you're gonna be you're gonna have to be holding those charge attacks. And it just takes a while. While while Aika, you just do her burst and then you can do her charge attacks and just do crazy stuff. And this is more fun in my opinion. So no more Morgana. No more Morgana. It's all about Moyaka now. But for gay girl Morgana, it's all about Moyaka. But at the end of the day, it just depends on you and who you have fun with the most. But I think this is a great Breeze duo team and it's really strong. I just do feel like it's stronger than Morgana, in my opinion. But anyways, you let me know what you guys think. I love y'all so much. Remember to like and subscribe to support the channel. It really helps it out. I love y'all so much. And remember, wife over meta. And I'll see you in the next video. Show